Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review on Blight by Alexander Duncan. Um, I just finished this book not too long ago. Um, I got it from my teacher at school. Shout out to Miss Catalini. And yeah, so let's just get started. Um, well, I guess I'll tell you what it's about. So pretty much this book is about a character named Temptus and she works for an agribusiness facility and something happened and so every all the crops are dying all the land is dying and they got to get away from it they call it the blight so pretty much she has to get away from it and she runs into some problems on the way like any character does in any book so um i gave this book probably about four out of five stars just because like the first couple chapters were really slow for me and so I did not think I was going to like it at first because it was so slow. But once you get to like the third chapter, the fourth chapter, it starts to like get into something and like it's just like it finally starts to actually go somewhere and have an actual story. And then um, I have notes, so that's why I'm looking. But um, so some of the problems that I have with this book was like what exactly is the blight like i don't really understand what it is like what is it like chemicals spreading through the ground and like destroying roots or is it like a fire like like what exactly is it and then also the main character tentis um she seems to kind of fall in love easily like with alder and then that, I guess I'm not going to say that. That's kind of a spoiler, but you know. Um, but one thing that I did really like about this book was like, she wasn't just an inconsiderate teenager. Like, she was thinking about other people along, all throughout the story. Like, she was thinking about how the blight was going to affect these people and how the blight already killed these people and how it's like gonna affect other people and if they know about it and just everything that she was doing she wasn't just doing it because she wanted it she was thinking about how her actions or just things happening around her would affect other people as well and not just herself um right so this is an art copy and so i guess this book came out in august this year in august of 2017 so I actually I, oh, I have so much I want to know for the next book like I'm so excited for it to come out because there's so much I need to know I, I have too much that I need to know like what happens with Isabel like how is her relationship with Alder what did her mom say like there's a lot I need to know like I I, I need tea like I just need to know like did, did, did the people in the city ever find out what what the blight is? Do they know that it's coming? Like, did they find out? Like, like how is she going to be without the company? I, I, I need to know. If she's not a part of the company anymore and she's not working for her freedom then like like what is she gonna be doing now what is her day-to-day -day life gonna consist of now that she's not on the compound like what are you doing anymore there's too much i need to know i need this next book to come out fast very fast but um i do have a goodreads account and i will link that in the description box um if you want to see some books that I have read and I'm going to try to make in more in-depth reviews like written out with like my thoughts right after I read the book um, on my Goodreads account so um, thank you so much for watching this video um, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one